Hi, uh, as part of uh, Sound Connect Batch 3, we have Aditi Aurora, who has a very interesting, yummy company called Wonderful Food Coma. Uh, and uh, why don't you tell us what uh, Wonderful uh, Food Coma is all about, uh, and why you started uh, WFC? So Wonderful Food Coma is basically the parent company of two restaurants and uh, we have uh, a quick service restaurant in a metro station in Delhi and the second one is a delivery service from uh, uh, our base kitchen. Uh, we started the company because of the opportunity that we got. It's been my dream to have a restaurant. I always have travelled the world and I love the concept of sitting in a cafe and having a coffee and just like Watching people, watching go, people by. go by and the and the passion people have for food and how it can get so many people together at one time. I've always loved that. So I've always wanted to do something in this industry. Is that your background or were you an engineer and who suddenly decided one day that you would become <laughs> you would start a restaurant? What what is your background? No, no. I have a completely business background actually. I've been working in the family business for about four to five years, which is nothing to do with food at all. So yes. Not so was it easy to make that uh, pivot into starting uh, QSR, uh, you know, cafe, and then moving into a uh, online delivery, uh, food delivery business? I think all businesses at one point have a common ground. Like if you're running a business, you know the basics of how to do it. But uh, in terms of food, yes, we have to learn a lot. But it's not interesting otherwise. That's what excites me that every day I go to work, I'm learning something new mm -hmm. I'm and when I speak to other restauranters, I find so much, uh, I get so much knowledge from them and uh, every day is a challenge but it's, that's what excites me. So it's like fun. So what is the top dish that you people call up for to deliver at uh, Indian Saffron? At Indian Saffron. Oh, uh, we expected it to be the butter chicken, but uh, there's a dish we do which is called methi chaman, which is a take on palak paneer, and it's been going out of good. Uh, really? Yeah. It's, uh, it's and is that is that are the recipes? Uh, when you put the recipes together from family mm -hmm. recipes, uh, 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 how did you put your menu together? So we did about two months of trials with the food. So everything is food that we love, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Lots of uh, a chef helped us coordinate the recipes together, but it has we made up, we did I think about 20 days of trials with our friends and family. Mm -hmm. So everything that we so we just wanted to get make sure that people love our food because that, it's a restaurant. If you're not loving the food, then there's no point of. And more than a restaurant, it's a, it's a home delivery. It's home right? delivery. So yes. how do you get that? You know, many people there are two reasons why people go out. One mm -hmm. is because they want to eat good yes. food. Uh, the second is for the RPRs. So, what uh, you know, it, it seems that you've uh, you cracked the code and both without yes. having to be physically present at a yes. restaurant. Yeah. Uh, I think, in fact, the trend is changing. A lot of people like relaxing at home, having a drink, and having a nice meal with that. So, what we've tried to do is get the restaurant type food in that quality, in that uh, sort of way, delivered right to the rest, uh, delivered to your doorstep. So uh, the food has to be amazing, obviously that's the first thing you go to a restaurant for. Secondly, the way we've packaged everything, you can just open the boxes and eat out of them. So, so for uh, pro working professionals who don't have the time to exactly. transfer the food from a plastic container to into a nice, nice formal container dish, right, yes, you don't right, have to do that. Right, right. Even a chutney bowl, then everything you will get, just the, just the way it is. So what are your what are your goals for uh, your for Indian Sapa? Because obviously, uh, you know you've you've had a very fast ramp up. Lot you know people seem to love your food. You're uh, you were trending on Zomato. Uh, on Zomato as soon as you started, which is fantastic. So uh, what what are your dream, what are you thinking about in terms of uh, where you'd like to take this business? I want to be delivering food to first all of Delhi and CR. So if we are doing a certain amount of orders, I want to expand, I want to multiply the amount of orders we are doing, get to a sort of like 10,000 orders a day or something like that. And uh, yes, that's what the plan is. I want to make sure that anyone who wants our food in Delhi and CR at least gets it and then eventually hopefully to other cities as well. Maybe food is common background, like everyone loves it, it's common around all the cities. I think I can easily expand to other metro cities as well. 
Now you deal with, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, you're not really dealing with the intellectuals who come in and, you know, your workforce is not, um, you know, it's not an easy workforce to manage, right? right? How do you manage it? This is like basically saying you're running a big kitchen with a with lot of uh, bhaiyas yeah. uh, around. Yeah. So you, you know, as, as a female, how do you, how do you manage that? Do you see any kind of... Uh, stress uh, as a result of uh, trying to handle you know yes a lot of stress is there but what i try to do mainly is i make sure that my employees see me doing everything that they do so whether it is the packaging sealing a container i have done that in the kitchen i teach them how to fold a meal sleeve i have gone to the point of picking up a duster and cleaning the surfaces because they've been dirty so i ma make sure that they see me there because it keeps them motivated. Another thing I do is I make sure that they are learning so that they have some sort of a reason to stay in the business. So someone who has uh, who was a storekeeper in my restaurant has now my is now almost a, on at a, at a managerial level uh, in one of my restaurants. So I'm quite that's how I keep them motivated. I think that's the only way you can because the restaurant industry is one of the most fast like, turning fastest turnover in terms of employees. We have people leaving every month, but at the same time, the people who are with us are happy working with us. So that's what we try to achieve. So the uh, delivery business, you know, you're, it's almost, you deliver during the day and at night or only at night? It's only night. It's 7 p.m. PM to 3 a.m. So post your going out, coming back home, you can definitely order from us. So that's almost like, you know, the PPO night shift, right? <laughs> So how does, that, how does that work uh, for you? Uh, my phone is on all the time. Mm -hmm. I try not to like, I've surprised my employees by turning up there at 1 o'clock in the morning once in a while. But uh, luckily I think we've managed to get our SOPs in place. So a lot of it is running smoothly. The stress is always there though because I make sure I keep trying, I keep telling my writers it's your lives. You need to wear helmets, you need to be sure you're not, regardless of if the orders getting late or not, you cannot be driving fast on roads. So many drunk drivers out there this time. So the stress is there. That is something you can't get rid of. I think we knew what you were getting into before we did. So, so even though you start at 7 and p.m. or 3 a.m., mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure in the, in the morning you're catching up on the orders that were placed, doing oh, the reconciliation. Yes. So it's, it's really more of a 24 by 7. Uh, yes. And especially since my other restaurant starts at 8 a.m., it's uh, eight, yeah, 8 a.m. to 3 am or technically my working hours. Now do you do you have the same food at uh, both your so it's a different kind it's of a food? different kind of food. That is more of a QSR cafe type of food. So that's more like a fun uh, project. Fun, fun project. Fun, fun very project. colorful. We right. used fun, very funky colours. Right. So yes. So what do you do for fun? If you if you have something, you looks like you're doing two shifts right now, right? <laughs> yeah, so I get out in the middle. It's not that bad. Okay. Yes, I get out, but I love exploring other restaurants. It's one of my main passions, so that I never get tired of eating out. So, which uh, what are your the top uh, three restaurants in uh, Delhi? Very tough choice, but R2C is one of them. If which I'm not including my own, yeah. R2C. It's a